Well, I'm up. It's five o'clock. Having a shine torch on myself. Five o'clock in the morning, November, and Team Brook Fishing is going to Mineral Lakes. And the target today is to catch all three species, which is carp fish, catfish, sturgeon, and they've all got to be over 25 pound. I'm off to go and pick rest of the lads up now and meet them. Team Brook Fishing, let's have it. Roll the intro. <laughs> recap so we're down on this special lake in november obviously winter now it's absolutely bouncing down it's never stopped raining from us coming here it was, it was still dark well after eight o'clock took ages for it to come light trying to get set up for here for eight o'clock it was still dark pitch black and uh, it's it's absolutely bouncing down we had to get bivvies up one at a time and then put stuff in it so we, we all rushed got one up put all gear rest it gear in it to keep it dry then set another one up put that gear in there to keep it dry third and up clever way really got it done it's in down rain and uh, we've, we've managed to get six rods out i've got three out uh, jedi's got three out but kel's not got none out yet because uh, it's bouncing it down. It's been raining all the time, but it's really coming down even worse now. So it's just going to try and wait for a break in thing and uh, get it out. See how we go. So, yeah, it's now getting on for one o'clock. It took us forever to get set up and go because of conditions. Uh, we also didn't fetch barras. Uh, a bit of misunderstanding. We thought it was going to be a barrier here for us to use, but they weren't. Uh, just not blaming anybody, just one of them communications, what got wrong, so we've had to hand up, hand ball everything, and you know how hard that is when you fetch as much stuff as you do. Walk right round lately and do what I've said, so I'm not going to keep repeating them, but that's where we're at. It's now coming on to one o'clock, we've been, we've got here at eight. Uh, rods have actually only just been out, been out 25 minutes or something. Uh, so, kind of, Oh, it goes, but don't know if it goes because I've already got chains. I've got this on now, what's supposed to be fully waterproof. Uh, but then, as you can see, uh, I've got that one drowning, what's supposed to be waterproof. But that went through and ended up doing me jumping. I've got an eater here drowning it off. Uh, luckily, I've fetched three different coats to put on, and I've fetched a few jumpers and some different bottoms. So, already I've got chains. I've had to change my bottoms, change my coat, change my jumper, change my hat and uh, got these on so I'm nice and dry again now so we're not in no rush to get back out uh, Kel's not in a rush to get his rods out with weather so if we get a little break in weather but it don't look like it's gonna but we're gonna have to get his rods out sometime and get them all out uh, it's one o'clock we're here we're here for two days so hopefully we're gonna get it it's a very special lake with very special fishing uh, carp catfish and sturgeon Sturgeon going well over 100 pound mark, catfish going over 100 pound mark, and carp up to 30 pound, I think, or just go. So there's a lot to go at, so we're out in all weathers, we're doing what we can for you. Thanks for everybody watching. Like and subscribe as always, and uh, keep you updated to what happens. Well, then it's cold November morning, 
<laughs> Kells, being asleep, he's just come out, put his first rod in edge. How long's that been done? Is it sturgeon? You no. Know? Is it Kel? Catfish, I said, did you see it then? I, I, I missed it. I didn't see it. It's a great one here, Good job on walking up. Kel, unbelievable. You've come down, you've had to sleep, we're all drenched, we've all had to change your clothes because we've got that soaked. You've just woke up, stretched your legs, put a rod in edge and you've just got straight in. Did you have anybody seen it yet? What is it? Carp sturgeon, what are we looking at? I hope he's a sturgeon. Good job of walking up. This, 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 is a, this is a lake where dreams come true. Winter carping. Early November. The fish are on. What do you think it is, Jezza? I think it's a catfish, mate. No, it's on. That's all we know. The heat is on. Carl, you've always been lucky, haven't you? You went boxing and become a world champion. You've set off fishing. Oh, You've not been to... fishing that long. You did a bit when you were young. You just came into it proper now, and you, you're making us look twats. Oh, that seems good to fucking Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a cheese and onion pasta. And there you go. Cal doesn't does it. Can Comes. It? He came no, last time. He had a catfish and carp. Uh, now he's, he's do done trilogy. Uh, you can close the sides. Get weirded on. Get weirded on. Old sturgeon's got three foot on the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so just keep playing him, Kel. Just keep him in edge while I get some weirdies on. <laughs> Lift him up a little bit again, Kel, so we can just see him from camera if he comes. It's a diamond bike! Have you caught that right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can... Get this head in him! Kel, how are you feeling, be honest? Asleep, been... wake straight up and fish. That's brilliant. <laughs> been asleep, That's brilliant. Straight up, run straight out. Well, <laughs> birthday present. Go on, lad. Lovely. Go on, happy birthday. Lee's birthday today. Well done, Lee. Get him, in, huh? get him in sling, pal. <laughs> yeah. We were one of the best pals, fishing legend, guru, Gerard Williams, as you all know. We will get round to putting some tips in, but as you can see, we're fishing early winter, November. The webbing is up. Weather is absolutely atrocious. What are you saying about it all, Jess? <laughs> this did light up like this for ages. Oh. This is like absolutely just being in the shower constantly. Yeah, it's ne never stopped, has it? No. He's at base camp. We've got his Nash Titan Hides both up there doing well. I'm down bottom with tracker and extension social cap doing well. But what has beat us all, I will say, I've had I fetched three coats what are all supposed to be waterproof and I've had to take all three off. I'm on my third one now, I keep drying them, I've got an eater in my thing. Gerard's kept this one on, so this is a great advertisement. And what's this one, Jez, if you want to It's the new one that we've done, it's the new uh, Z, 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 well, ZT, Zero yeah. Tolerance. And that, that really is 100% uh, waterproof. Yeah, just, you, just come you, I mean, there's no it's not got through at all, has it, on you? Don't get wet now, take it. It's as dry as a bone. I Feel can it? Ready for, I know. And, I, and it got through, mine were waterproof. Well, supposed to be one I got. I'm not going to mention the name and start slagging them on here, but one I wore this morning, got through that. Then I've had another one on. Up to now, this is all right, which drenched. It's not rolling off like yours, as you can see. Yeah, it's just yours just rolled. Yeah, yeah. We'll, that, we'll that's, right, that's great material. We launched these at trade show this year, so they'll be eating shops soon. Oh, they're not in shops yet, then. All yeah, right. No, they're but, not in shops yeah. yet, but we also do trousers. Yeah. Which I well, should have. I, I might, have, I might have to invest with that because it's lightweight, isn't it? Yeah, lightweight. It's not it's gaining your way, and, and 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 I've been impressed with that. It's not. It's it's. And obviously your Titan eyes are a legend, everybody knows about them, but I'm impressed with that zero tolerance stuff, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so it's, like you said, light, I know they're not cheap, yeah. but you get what you pay for, don't you, Jess? No, they're not that expensive, mate. Well, well, I fetch three coats, and like I said, I'm on my third, and I keep drying them out in here, but you, you haven't had to do that, so. I wanted to do it, you know, I've yeah. only got a t-shirt on and a hoodie. And we're hoping, we're here for two days, we will get time where we'll, we'll have a Gerard uh, tips on what we've done, but you can imagine it's... A minute we can't do that, so we're just a little tip because we're under trees at the minute, as you can see. We're just trying to, and even here it's still bouncing it down, so we'll keep it updated and our things go. Team Brook Fishing. Look up there. It's now going on for three o'clock. Cal's had a brilliant sturgeon. Uh, probably his PB, that in fairness. Uh, we didn't weigh it because it's absolutely bouncing it down. Conditions are absolutely terrible, like I said before. 
if you can hear it now or see it on back of me it's not just raining it's it's beyond belief it's it, it bloody uh, I've fetched three coats from me all supposed to be waterproof and uh, two of them two of them drying out yeah luckily I've fetched an eater that's uh, been a god song that's on them and I'm drying them out I've had to change my jumper change my t-shirt change my hats because you're outside and, and it, it's it's no different than getting under a shower with your clothes on, honestly. But I'd say it's more stronger than a shower, an eye powered shower. So, obviously, you saw even with your waterproofs on and, and everything else. I fetched, we, we knew it was going to rain, so we're kind of prepared for it, but you're never really prepared. Uh, I fetched three jumpers, three t shirts, two different bottoms to wear, and three coats that are all supposed to be waterproof, and uh, not one of them being fully waterproof. Did, did, I don't know if you see it on here where it's damp, it's come, coming through. So they, they've kept most of the water off, but like when you go out, when you're out and you're having to go for two rods, or like when Kel had that fish, I don't know how long we were out here, we, we were fighting it a bit, but we all went out to open, obviously to film it and everything else. And I would just, I just drench, come back, and you, you just want to get in. It's, it's one of them I want to catch, but I don't want it this minute while it's bouncing it down because I'll be absolutely drenched. Uh, I've got a poncho I haven't put on yet, so that'll be the next thing I'm putting on poncho because they're drying. I don't want to just stick one of them coats on, so the poncho on anyway. Still fishing, we're still out here, we're still doing it. We've got two days, we're already halfway through this first day, and uh, we're, we're already off mark with a, a really nice sturgeon. That's small to what's in this lake. Uh, if I'm right, it holds the biggest weighted fish in UK, which is a, a sturgeon that. 160, 170, I'm not 100% sure, it's around that mark, uh, catfish all 100 pound and catfish all 30 pound mark, so there's plenty of fish in this water, uh, big fish, so that's what we've come for, some monsters, just had a monster on bank, what were a beauty, well not on bank, you can't put them on bank in water, you know what I mean, but, uh, we're off the mark, so keep watching, if you get a chance, please like and subscribe, it means a lot to us, I'm trying to build this channel up and uh, let you know how we're going, we'll keep it all updated. Wait, watch that line when it goes. That was lovely watching it take all that line out. Just a shame, weather's so bad. I'm absolutely drenched today, camera. Half past nine at night, pitch black. I'm wetter, no than, November. I'm wetter than Nutter's pocket. Look at Rod, play it. Yeah, look at that line coming out. Let me film that line. Get that That's a nice taste, isn't that? That's a nice taste. Wow, this is, uh, I've had to stop video, it's like 10 minutes later because video will be too long and it's still fading him, it's stuck him all though, in taking line left right, how's this feeling Kel? Look at that. What's that like on your right. arms? Right, we're talking big numbers here. Yeah, this, this, yeah. it'd be nice if it's a ton up or, or oh, even one of them big 70s, I hope oh, what's it, oh, that'll oh, be nice, certainly getting that fight up. This is what it's all about. Wait a minute. Go in, Jeff. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a serious catfish. Yeah, what a place. Yeah, come here. Oh, what? You, um, Come on, just lift it, lift it. Have a picture. You can lift it. You can lift it. Hand under each both shot. One hand that way, one hand the other. Hold on a minute. That's it. If you can lift her up. Put, oh. put that hand, your other hand under, under underneath. the way. That's, that's it. it. That's how you hold him. That's, that's going to be a picture. Look at the camera. Hello. Hello. Okay. Wait. What? Really? <laughs> Drop real. <laughs> One leg, some weight to that. That's it. Nice to stay, keep walking, mate. He's done it. Well done, Lee. Well done. On his birthday, top man. Well done, mate. Well done, well done Lee. Go on, Congratulations. Lee. You. <laughs> this is the one, right? Catfish in Spain. I've got some big ones in France, 
and I might be speaking out of term, this is going to be something good. It's going to be something good, this, right? Yeah, it's uh, gone, Baba. She's on. Today is a different day. We've survived a storm and we're now on again. Do not tell me this is a carp. You've had all three species. This is <laughs> unreal. Sturgeon, catfish, now carp. Is it a carp, Jez? Yeah. Oh, well done, Kel. All three species. Not quite as big as mine, but still a nice thing. <laughs> Beauty. Well done, Kel. Yeah. Nice landing, Jess. Teamworks, dream work. Kel, you've done it. You've had all three species. You're knocking out at park. We've got all rested today and tonight. How are you feeling after the storm and getting yeah, I'm these? Feeling absolutely fantastic. Three species: carp, surgeon, and we've uh, we've got cat. And I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. Let's have it. Team Let's Brook Fishing. It. Team Brook Fishing. Like and subscribe. Hope this channel out. Like, subscribe. Let's get on it. Right. Just an update. Second morning. I'll just run you through what happened. We got here. It's uh, November. It's been really bad. Weather's been bad. We've come in a storm. But we still came because we were booked in. It was absolutely terrible. It, it spoiled fishing a bit on the first day. It took us a lot of setting out. One one bivvy putting stuff in, another took a bit. Late getting set up, but Kel struck not long after being in. And first fish you had were what, Kel? Sturgeon I got, the first one. Uh, we didn't weigh it, but it, it, it were a good weight. It were a good weight. It were a good, good weight. We, we, we still see on video. Put up a great fight. And you have to get in water for them. Uh, Kel got it and his, uh, his pal got in water to, to, to land him, so we... We thank Lee a lot for that, and uh, then it weren't too long after. No, it was next day, weren't it? What, it same night? Not same night. Oh, yeah, same, same day, night. yeah, same, same night. night. Right. Same night before it got dark, goes off again, and you get, what did you get, Kel? I got a huge, huge catfish. A huge catfish. That right. was definitely knocking up 50. It was knocking Which up 50. What the fight, were amazing fight it had. It was brilliant. Yeah, we were pumping, I had it on for a, a good while. We got it in, didn't we? And it was. Chocolate that compare? Chocolate that compare? Because if, if you ask, how's that compare? Because obviously they're both big fish you've had. Uh, and you're just getting into fishing, really, because you've always obviously been too busy with boxing, as everybody knows. How's that compare? I, know, I don't mean on your major fights, but on, on boxing on Summit Frills Yard. Is, is it a similar buzz or completely different? A different buzz but you can't compare it no no you can't but it's still it's a nice buzz it's still good so <laughs> <laughs> let, let me rephrase it but it's an amazing buzz when when them bite alarms go off and i get up and there's one on end and you don't know what it is or what size it's going to be it's amazing right i'm going to rephrase it because not going to compare to what you've done in boxing obviously you're a world champion you, you've had some amazing nights so i worded that wrong what i meant to say was well, Retirement time at minute, and that, what you're doing and taking time out. How's that for a buzz? Because I know you're narrow, you're getting buzz with training. Is it, so is it, is it a good, is, are you finding that good? It's equivalent to calm fight. It's equivalent to calm <laughs> fight. <laughs> it's equivalent to calm fight when I get Timber! When I get one of them on there. Yeah, yeah. Know, you know you've got it under control. I know you're I'm saying. under control. Yeah, you know it's yours. I know it's mine. I, know, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't lose any. Like, some, I've never seen some, you lost some, a fish. Some here, I actually lost a few. Yeah, I've never seen you lose a fish. I'm recording. Right, I, didn't I, want, I, didn't I lost four. No, you can't. I admit it. That's fishing. I've lost four, but I've I've had a beauty now. I've had a 28 pound carp, so I'm I'm absolutely buzzing today. So everything else now is going to be a bonus. What we have got to thank. Gerard, he's, he's in the league of his own Gerard, in fairness he's set a lot of these rigs up he's, because uh, we're fishing a, a, a different lake, he's done some unbelievable different approaches uh, do you want to talk us through what we've done Jez on all different ones and so it's worked for them all different yeah, well, rigs and different oh, just running, ba running back like to latter part of October, obviously I tore some muscles in my back so I ain't been fishing so obviously I knew you were coming down here so I come down here we are just to obviously set stuff up you know and things like that and I mean I'm not fishing now I'm just I'm, I'm just happy to be outside to be honest with you feeling 100% better but we just knew me and Kel fished this last year and we we talked about it haven't we and just a different approach so what we did is because there's a lot of catfish and sturgeon and things like that yeah it is November but it's still mild 
Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. it's not sub zero temperatures. So we've brought like mackerel down and um errands and stuff like that. Just in tins, sardines and what I've prawns. and prawns. What I did is I went to the shop and I bought some prawns, like in a chili sauce. Uh and we've been using them, I've just been cutting them up, prawns, and like putting about, about that much, like four on an air, quite a long air, and then just cutting it half a citrus pop uh, wafter in half, and pretty top bottom just for like a big stop, and then obviously a baiting stop. And we've been fishing that, and obviously. Can't be my fish, yeah. You, you had your 28 pound yeah. carp on it. I weren't sure about it when you said it. I, I know it had done others. But I, I was shocked at getting that cart yeah, with just, it, and it was brilliant. It were, it were... Just, just chill. I mean, I, we know everybody's used prawns and things like that in the past. It's not, not revolutionary. It's not. Thing. But we just knew if we brought it down here because we come down last time, and that when we come down here, we're like thirty-three degrees, wasn't it? Plus, we were red out that day. We come down. Totally Launching different. For weekend. So we just thought, right, let's go for it. So we brought that down. Sloppy mix, scopex squid, liquid scopex squid flake, scopex squid boilies. Mixed all stuff in, um, pellets and things like that. But we haven't put any prawns in the mix or we haven't put any luncheon meat in the mix because we've had, what do we have catfish on luncheon meat? Yeah, we've we'll cut, cut on all yeah. baits, haven't we? Yeah, we had on luncheon meat. So we haven't put any in. We are last time we did. And I don't know if that were rhyme or reason whether we went wrong. So what we've done is we've just made a sloppy mix up, very sloppy, what I've told you. And we've just put the up baits in. And colouring water off that to add amazing And the colour, what we scopex squid liquid, scopex squid flake, there's various things in it. And I think it just works, it's clouding yeah. it all up. And we're only halfway through session, really, aren't we? Because yeah. it's still not late, it's next morning. It's stopped raining. Thank uh, God. It's not as cold. Uh, so there's a big chance of there's uh, actually catching one of them monsters, what's in what goes up, wallow 100 pound mark. On, on 150 150 60 pounders yeah well that 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 could still happen i mean i, I honestly think i had that on first thing when we come and uh, it's one i lost well, yeah, it we didn't get much fish it. yeah it's 20 minutes and i got an up pull and i've caught some big fish before and it certainly were a big fish and it's, we didn't get it it's in. like all right i get as much enjoyment coming we are yeah. i think we're all doing we have a great crack and things like that with good pals but i get as much enjoyment out sat on a chair or a bucket watching your play fish yeah, yeah. I, do you know what i mean yeah. mate I, and, I and, and to be honest, it. Jez, there's all different levels, and, and you're a lot of levels above me, and I'm, I'm one to do it. And you've, you've, uh, I know carping. I've been fishing a long time. I'm 55. I've been, I've been at a long time fishing, but like you've learnt a lot with because you've, you've had them opportunities. Yeah, I've been very thing. lucky. You've been very lucky. Been you fish a lot of places, and you've picked a lot of skills up in different things, and and I've picked a lot of things that you've done, and it, and it certainly bettered my fishing. Do you know what I mean? And also down to even just being organised, being prepared for worse. I mean, I come with three different coats on, total change of clothes. I thought, have I gone over? And I'm so glad I have, because I've got changed three times. I mean, that drenched yesterday, I we know. are bad it way, which storm and everything. It, it, so, so things like that, think about anybody watching. Do you know what I mean? You never know what weather's going to be like, so especially it's winter fishing. So it's good to have a little fishing. box in car or boat, yeah. or un somewhere under the sea. It's spare clothes, spare thermal, spare socks, spare... Just to, even if you don't use it, because you've got to be comfortable. If you're not comfortable, you don't fish to your highest potential. If you are comfortable, then you put maximum effort into it, which is right in it. That's true. So, anyway, like and subscribe if you like these contents, please. It really helps us. And uh, we're already off with you. Keep watching. You want Twain? Right, Roy. Just tell us a little bit about this beauty, uh, well, will you? Yeah? This morning it's not raining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Through night, well, from five o'clock this morning, I've lost three fish, which has killed me. Then it's just had a very slow, funny tech. I hit it and we've got this absolute beauty. Not weighed it yet, but it's well over 25 pound mark and we'll see where it's weighed. I'm off the mark, buzzing. Team Brook Fishing, Gerard Williams, Carl Brook, we're all here, let's have it. Yes. Yes. Round. 28 on that, don't know what that weighs. Yeah, it's, no, it's 28, that's it, 28. Oh, the one and only Gerard Williams. How are you feeling, Jez? Let's have it. Was it, mate? The man. November yeah. fishing. Tic tac toe. Yes. Fish Winter fishing. Now. Let's have it.
Right, Jez, you were talking earlier. Just uh, one of them you're going to prat, different to what you've been doing. Cocktail. Yeah, it's like a... Uh... It's not a cock at all, because we mentioned that in jokes on Team yeah. Bro. This it's just what we've been using, so So you've got We've you've... got a prawn, lunch and meat, two prawns, lunch and meat, and like I said on the bottom, little citrus uh, pink wafter. Yeah. And, and that's all we've been using. And you're dipping it in some uh, Nash glug, what you've got. Yeah, in, Nash uh, glug, yeah. Got ultimate flavours, isn't it? And yeah, and then obviously we all slop that we put in it bait, but what we'll show you. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it and show you. Oh brilliant. So yeah. Okay. Right, Jez, just talk us through then what's been doing magic. Well, we just thought we'd show you. Uh, obviously, we're using bait books, we're using slop. So, this is one at Boatman's that we've been using, never let us down. Yeah, that's mine. I've had it uh, a couple of years now. I had the old version of it, what I had yeah. for about two and a half years. That's still going. I salt that, my mate's still using that. Brilliant piece of kit. You don't have to pay a fortune out there for bait boats, it's still cheap. Uh, and a uh, good company to go with. Go on, Jess. So basically, this is all slop that I've told you that we're using. So it's Scopex Squid Liquid. Yep. Uh, well, syrup. I, I wish it was smaller vision because it uh, absolutely yeah. reeks. Uh, a lot, uh, Scopex Squid Flake. We've got Scopex Squid uh, 12 mils, 15 mils. We've got Scopex Squid Pellet. A bit of sweet corn because obviously, fuck carp. And all we're doing is. I'm just putting that. I've put some PVA tape of it lead. See how slush it is. Yeah, I put PVA tape of it lead because it's an heavy lead. Yeah. When it's dropping, I don't want lead to come off. Yeah. So obviously that'll dissolve. So when yeah. we get a tech, the lead will come off. So and then basically all. Barbly socks roll. Barbly socks, yeah. And don't then know about this place. all that I'm doing is. That's the cocktail. So I, I just. Put it all over up link like that just to sink it spread it out can you see they're not full scoops no and then what i do is i'll place it i take my time just dip it all in that there and then we're just dropping it like that that's basically and, and and I've got one in margins and the cloud it gives off and, yeah. and smell, like I say, if it was smell of vision, it's strong. Yeah, it? it's, it's we, really... we want the attraction. Yeah. We want the attraction. Especially for the kind of species yeah, we're going for. Yeah, what we're going for, catfish and sturgeon and that. So I hope this helps anybody watching what's going for these species. It looks or, crude. Or, it looks crude, that uh, rig, but believe me. It, it's the one what does it. When you were fishing for fish of £100 and the mouse are that big, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. not really. No, no, it's not. Well, a £28 cart took it. Yeah, exactly. So... Let's have it. Well done, Lee. What a way to spend your birthday. She's off. She's not off, off but... Yeah, she's fine. Right. Just enjoy it, Lee. The big fish, they're not, it's not like catching what you've caught. I'm not, I don't mean that in any arrogant way whatsoever, but like you said, you've not come across seas before, so... Oh, it's a different fishing to you. As long as your, bed's all, your rod's always bent, never let no slack in it. Don't take me Jared, I'll tell you how to go on, but just take your time, yeah, mate. Just take your time, nice pressure on it. Enjoy it. This is your Lee. Get it enjoyed. So Fishing at its best. Oh. Need to get in right. 20 right. minutes later, right. and we're on to a monster. Lee, how are you feeling? 20 something hey. minutes, five, That's and we've nearly got it in edge. Literally better than six. Yes, <laughs> and that is saying something. Right. Right. All right, pal, all right. I'm going to update. Yeah. Couldn't write it. Ted had just said, being one of the quietest spells. Just after he said it, first rod screams off, Lee's rod. It's fighting it 25, 30 minute long time when it had to break it up. While that's going, we've then hitting. I've gone and got one on. Lee's had one staging. I've had a staging. You couldn't write it. Man Jed had for I better have one. So he's had one. So we've all what in space. Yeah, well between his all, yeah, between his all. We've got little Bobby, didn't we? But between his all, <laughs> it were brilliant. How, how good with that, Jess? Three on the top, three surgeons on top. How good is this place? And, 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 Mi and mineral two lakes. On, two on at once. Yeah, take some beating. Two at once. Two at once, and then third and just after. Amazing. That's fishing at its best. Keep watching, like I said, we're just getting started. Still plenty of time left yet for that monster. Kel, this is fishing at its best. We're fishing at its away. best. We're moments away from fishing at its best.
Really? Right? I'm not. No, she can wait a minute. She's tired. He. Oh, she. Right, this is she. She's this fucking good in there. She looks so good in there. Well, Lee. Fetch that end to me, I'll get her in. Oh, you need that trace bring, and it's mine. Bring it off. That trace. That's it. That's it. Go on. Pull that in, Roy. Grab the tail. Right, bye. <laughs> wow. Look at her. Wow. What the fuck? Look at that. That's how you do it. Go on, Roy. This is how we do it. It's your nice bash. Go on, Roy. Go on, Roy. Another one. Jenna's got a stage on. Got to go up the end half of that one, round two. Do you need uh, pincers or not? No. no. I might get it out with Straight out with Oh. Little update. It's now Sunday morning. we got to go home today, but I've set my alarm. It's five o'clock. It's pitch black. As you can see, I'm having a shank torch on my face. So I've literally just got up. I'm going out now. It's the tote rods. They're all still asleep. Gerard's up. So we're going to set the rods, me and Gerard. And uh, hopefully, maybe catch one before we have to go. So keep you updated. Team Brook Fishing. I hope you're enjoying the video. Well, it's eight o'clock Sunday morning. It's his last day. We've got a few hours. Hopefully, try and pull one in. What a beautiful, gorgeous day in November. And Gerard, being the man he is, is doing us all a fantastic breakfast. What are you doing, is Jess? Cheese and oh, toast toasties. Let me just zoom in on that. It's prepared with next one. This is what you can do in your ridge monkey. He, he is on it. Look at that. Not even burning yet. Low light to keep turning. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. And there's a the finishing result. Cheese and ham toaster on a cold winter's morning. Let's have it. Team Brook fishing at its best. Here we are, Sunday morning, just getting organised, packing down. And Gerard sorted Kella. Anybody think Kella was special or something? I don't know what it's all about. Gerard, will you talk us through what he's had? I've just I've just had to stop. What's he slept on? I think he's taking liberties. What, what's he slept on, Jess? Well, I, said, I, I come up and I'd, set, this out, I'd, right. I'd set Bivvies up. up, right? So obviously I'd put Kel on the fourfold dwarf one. Right. Right? So that were his. So I come back, I thought, tidy, I'm going to have eat a blanket, everything. <laughs> so I come back, Kel's laid in bed, we eat a blanket on, so I've had to sleep it dwarf. So, he, so he, you know what? He now tell us doing. what this is, because I'll be honest, I know about him, but it's the first time I've come across it, Jess. So I've had that on there all night. Right. That's your wiring. That's Press the, the button. It's basically an heated blanket. It, last night I was cold and I've got it was supposed freezing to be a last night. And you were red. You were snug as a bug. I was snug as a bug in a rug. In that, in the There's four toaster. settings on it as well. So what you, makes Kelsey special then, Jez, if you don't mind asking? What's it all about? I, I just, I just nicked, uh, I nicked I've it known you I... quite a bit and I've fished for you a long time and I've never had them kind of liberties. It's put me number them one. Quality you, thing you put me as number one, I think, you, Jez. I think. Thinking about it, I'm gonna want it right in Lana. I'm not gonna argue, am I? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna argue, am I? So I just left. I just left him in it. I thought, right, right. you know what I mean? Because right, I don't yeah. want to cause any trouble no. with him and him no. go yeah. home like scared or all. You know what I mean? Old yeah. York on the side. It's what is it? This Jez, the Nash. It's indulgence. Nash indulgence. 
and that heated up. Cal's just said, I thought I'd get on video, the warmest neat sleep he's ever had at on Bankside. And just to top Absolutely it off, brilliant. right, I slept on a dwarf 4 fold with no <laughs> extra pad, no, no extra note. So Kel's only going to need a blanket. Then he's got the duvet and then he's got a winter, a winter skin yep. of a top of it and all. So, I mean, that's just, that's luxury. That's just pure luxury. In summer, you could just sleep on top of that. Oh, yeah. And it's been cold. We're in winter and he's not fault one inch. He's actually been red hot. There was steam coming out of it. Bevy went up and it this morning. That's how warm he was. Red hot. Well, as you can see, we now packed up, ran his way home. We've stopped at Burger King. We did well, Gerard. We, we, we beat the, the, the task I put out. What did we end up with all together? Well, the task that you put out were for us to catch every species that we went for. Over £25, so that's sturgeon, catfish, carp. And we're not that more, but... Over £25. So all golden testicles over here <laughs> caught all three over £25. Yeah. You could write it, could you? No. <laughs> But on fish, what did we get? How many sturgeon? How many carp? We, we got four sturgeon. Four sturgeon. Uh, four carp. Four sturgeon, four carp. Uh, catfish. Catfish. And, uh, Which catfish were decent, yeah. so. And a, a bream. And a bream. But we got. We got <laughs> and it were up to your mouth, that were unbelievable. On like three big chunks of sweet, uh, lunch uh, of meat. Unbelievable. And boiling. Like that happened to do that. But yeah, that's fishing. Have you enjoyed it, Cal? Loved it. Yeah. Like and subscribe next time. See you on Bank Zone.